Hi guys, it's Ashley with AMJ Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about how to make mock-ups. And if you watch my video about creating this SVG, um, I'm just going to start like we've already created it. So if you haven't watched it, go back and watch. I'll link it below in the um, description and you guys can create this and then come back to this. But right now we're starting out with an SVG and we created it and it's an SVG and now we want to make a mock-up and a mock-up is if you don't know if you don't have a if you don't want to already make the product and say it doesn't sell um, and you're wasted you just wasted a shirt or a mug or whatever you put on your whatever you're putting it on you can create a mock-up where it looks like the real thing but it's not and you're not pressing and wasting vinyl creating a mock-up we're going to use we use Inkscape to create our SVG I'll give you a couple different websites that show like mock-ups already made up and then um, what I normally do I have like specific shirts say if I get my shirts from Walmart or I have a specific collar shirt um, I usually just make my own mock-up and it's nothing fancy and it's not hard so I'll walk you through it okay so like again like I said we made our SVG we need to save this as a PNG and a PNG is again a transparent background so we're going to be able to place this over on a shirt and we will not have a background to it okay so let's save that as a PNG we can um, pull up our export panel on the right by clicking Control shift e and it pops up right here and we have our image that we are saving selected under our tab thing we have the selection highlighted I want to bring the pixels down to 150 and then we're going to say export as rename it be kind and I'm going to make sure that it goes in my documents fo folder it's labeled be kind and you can see it says save as type PNG so we're going to save it and that's just telling our computer where we're wanting to store it and now we actually have to hit the export button to export it yours won't have this up but I already have it saved as a PNG so let's put replace and now it has exported it and it's in there okay so that's it for Inkscape then we're gonna go to Google and there's a few different ways that we could do this um, let's just say I'm just wanting to show my image you can go to unsplash.com and it has free mockups for you to use and um, sometimes you just have to go down and see which ones you like and again if because some people just sell solely mock-ups because some people don't have time to make them because it takes a little bit of time before you think about just selling your mock-ups if you're thinking about like oh, I'm just gonna sell mock-ups you need to check and make sure that the images that you're using can be sold commercially so again, this is just, I'm just gonna teach on personal use only. And you dig deeper if you're gonna sell. Okay, so um, unsplash.com, I put in coffee mug mock-up. And there's another one, uh, pixabay.com, and you, I just put t-shirt mock-up. It has a bunch of little t-shirts, baby onesies, um, already designed for you. And it looks like these shirts are Bella and Canvas. But um, like I said, if you're just wanting to show the image or give a customer an example, you know, a little visual, then these are great. So um, let's say we picked this um, shirt. We're going to click on it. It's going to come up. It's going to say free download. We're going to download it. It's going to give us an option of what size we want and let's just remember this size that we have and we're going to download okay it's going to pop up 
or it's going to pop down here on your um, bottom left. And I like to always show it, show in folder, because sometimes it gets lost and I can't figure out where it goes. So I like to always rename, and I uh, will say a raglan sleeve mockup. And then I like to just drag it and put it in my documents. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to canva.com. This is what's gonna pop up. Um, make an account, it's free. I'm already logged in and then after you do all that, you'll see this little uh, purple tab. It says create design, create a design. And we're going to use a custom size. And so custom size is down here on the plus button. I'm gonna enter that width and height that I said to make sure that we keep in mind. And it was a 1920 by 1536. And I'm gonna create a new design. So it's gonna give me a layout of that exact size. Now I'm going to go on the left and go to uploads and I'm going to upload media from my device and remember I put it in my documents and I can just type in what I named it, it's downloading it, I'm going to click it and I want to bring it in and resize it to fit the layout. And then I'm going to upload my Be Kind, which I already have uploaded. And you just do it the same way. Upload, upload media, device, and then I put it in my documents, and then Be Kind. I know it's this Be Kind because it has the PNG image. It will not let you import SVGs. So all of your SVGs need to be saved as a PNG when you go to create mockups in Canva. So um, then you hit be kind and it'll open it and download it. And then here's mine. So I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna take these little circles and I'm gonna size it down. I'm gonna put it, and it, see it gives you a little like center. I'm gonna put it right there. And then what I always like to do is this looks very bright, like too digital in my opinion. So I always go up here in the transparency and I kind of lower it down where it just looks like it's on the shirt. I think that makes it look so much better. So that's a quick way of doing a mock-up. And like I said, um, you can do that on cups. Um, it has a, a lot of options. You can type in basically anything. I think they have picture frames for mockups, but you just have to search for the one that you like. And that's on unsplash.com. And then there's Pixabay. They have a lot of cute ones with little wood backgrounds all set up for you. But yeah, you can just type in there what you're looking for. At the end, put mock-up, scroll through, and find something that you like. Okay, so the next one that I normally do, so what I do is I just take a picture on my cell phone, on my wood floor, and I'll give you an example, I'll show you the picture that I took. Um, let's go to, well, actually, I'll walk you through it. I took a picture, and then I sent it to my email. Um, I tried sending it to my Facebook Messenger because it would have been quicker, but it distorted it and it was all blurry and it took me a while to figure it out. But when I sent it to my email, it kept all of its proportion and um, clarity and it was a very good picture. So when you take a picture on your phone, send it to an email and then download it from there. So, okay, so I sent it to my email and then here it is and I'm just going to download. And when it gets done loading, you'll see it down here blinking in the bottom left. 
I'm going to um, right click it. I'm going to show it in the folder because again, I don't. I want to know. I want to name it. Uh, white T-shirt mock-up. I just put one because I already have it saved. And then I'm going to drag it into my documents. Okay. So all I did was uh, laid on. I had this shirt from Walmart and I laid it down on my wood floor. You can see like where I'm going to put my image. I kind of made it flat on right here and then I just kind of crinkled it up at the bottom and then I just added a plant and you can add anything you like like cute flip-flops, um, like a necklace. They, they do all kinds of stuff and you can look at other mock-ups that people have and just kind of put your own things in there to like glam it up. But anyway, so simple. Just put it, took it on my phone, sent it to my email, and now here it is. So I, um, I'm going to put this into Canva and put my image on it. This, I want to know how how big that picture is. I'm going to right click it and go down to File Info, and it tells me right here that the dimensions are um, 3,024 by 2,996. So I'm going to make my uh, layout on Canva that size so my picture fit, fits perfectly. Okay so now we're on Canva and I'm going to go over here create a design. I want a custom size and I want it to be 324 by 2996. Create new design. So it's giving me my layout. Now I'm going to upload that picture. So I'm going to upload media from my device. White t-shirt mock-up one. It's going to upload it in. You can click it. And then we're going to size it by just dragging the sides out and filling the box. Okay. And then we already have our Be Kind image imported. I'm going to put that in. We're going to size it down by left clicking it, and holding and dragging, kind of placing it on the shirt to see that looks good and then I'm going to lower the transparency to make it look Like it's actually on there. Okay, now let's download. Download. I'm going to save it as a JPEG and then download it. And it's ready. And here it is. Now, if you're selling images, t shirts, I would suggest to put a watermark over your image and a like your logo saying it's your image because that lets people know that it's yours. But yeah, it's as simple as that. I hope um, this video was helpful to you all and I do want to give thanks to Leslie for asking me to do this video. I have fun creating these so if you guys have any specific videos for me to show then let me know. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good one. Thank you.